Video services for this episode of The Cunningham Piano Show have been provided by Front Row Seat Productions, LLC. Capturing and preserving great performances for over a decade. Front Row Seat Productions. Welcome to The Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I'm so excited, and my guest today, we have the eminent pianist Clipper Erickson. Clipper, welcome to the show. It's such a pleasure to be here. Cunningham Piano and I go way back. Oh! Well, first let me introduce you a little bit more. Clipper, I understand you're on the faculty of Westminster Conservatory as well as Temple University. Yes. You've performed around the world. You've recorded extensively. I'm so excited to have you here. Oh, it's wonderful to be back here. And I understand we ha we're having a little bit of a pre-show talk. You're quite the history buff. What period of history interests you the most? Well, I like... 19th century history, I like American history, mm. European history. I got to know history mostly through my study of music. When I was in school, I didn't really learn a whole lot of history, but when I got into college and I had to take music history classes, you had to find out what was going on when Beethoven and Mozart were writing and the effect of the world events on their music. And I thought this was just fascinating. And so now I just like reading about Middle Eastern history or ancient history, all kinds of history. And I, I think you, in your selection of the pieces that you're going to play for us today, there's some great historical angles as well. Tell us a little bit about what you've chosen to play for us. Well, one of my dearest loves, particularly in the last 10 years, has been African descent composer mm. Nathaniel Dett. Mm. And in 2015, I released the first complete recording of his piano music. Um, he's an early 20th century American. Um, grew up in, uh, in Niagara Falls area, actually born in Canada, in Niagara Falls, Canada, Ontario. Um, and of course, in my study of his music, I needed to learn more about African American history. And I think that's a fascinating um, subject. And so that, that really informed my, my playing of the music. And I'm very happy that that CD, uh, after it was released, uh, became a critic's choice at Gramophone UK CD reviewing magazine. Wow. That's one of the, probably the top CD re reviewing magazine in the world. Mm -hmm. And the CD uh, racked up 17,000 track downloads in 2016. So wow. I'm really happy that this music, which is really wonderful, you'll see, um, has gotten into to so many people's appreciation. Now, Nathaniel Dead, I was doing a little bit of research, a little bit of homework, reading your website, and there was a wonderful link to one a page describing him. And this gentleman was quite the polymath. He was a composer, a pianist, poet, writer, deep thinker, very spiritual as well. And I was reading one interesting incident where he had uh, he attended a performance by the Kneisel Quartet. They were playing the second movement of a Dvorak uh, string quartet, and suddenly it was almost like a light bulb came on, and he realized the meaning of music for him in his life. And yeah, it was I found a seminal really experience yeah. for him. Um, he he when he was growing up, he heard his grandmother singing spirituals. Mm. And when he was a young man, he was an expert composer, but composed little ragtime pieces and marches and what was ever po what was popular at the time around 1900. And when he heard this performance of the Kneisel Quartet, well, of course, the Dvorak's melodies reminded him of spirituals. Mm. And that became his life's work, mm. was to arrange, preserve spirituals, and write chorale motets based on them, and also uh, many wonderful piano works, some of which have spiritual quotes. A lot of times they don't have spiritual quotes, but the melodies are certainly influenced by them. Mm. Now, we've got a kind of an unusual situation. One of the nice features of the show is the fact that our guests get to choose whatever piano they want to perform on. And normally they choose one piano, but in this case, this you've, is, you've this taken the liberty. This is a great luxury. <laughs> Can I play my next recital here and have different pianos and wield, wield to, because that's always a great thing to be able to play different pieces on sure. different instruments. And you're going to be, it's a, well, that's also another wonderful thing. You're going to hear the different characteristics. So which of these pianos? We have a wonderful Estonia L210 over here. It's a six foot 10 piano and a Busendorfer 225. Which of these pianos are you using to play the Nathaniel Dett? I'm using the Estonia to play Dett. Why? When I was yeah. trying this piano out mm. and I played the first melody, I just thought this is the most beautiful singing sound. Mm -hmm. I have to choose this for, for Dett's, the first work I'm playing of Dett because it has a beautiful melody. 
And well, it's kind of a, a nice little connection because I'm Scandinavian, ah. Ericsson, and Estonia is a Scandinavian country. So I thought it would be an interesting connection to Wonderful. to play on play on this instrument. And now you're going to play something else on the Bosendo for two twenty five. I'm going to play a great arrangement of the Lord's Prayer by, ah. by my dear friend Donald Dumpson, who's a great pianist and choir director in the Philadelphia area. And this piano has power. Mm. It has the bass and it has the depth that that, uh, that arrangement needs. So it's wonderful to, to go back and forth between these two instruments. Well, wonderful. I can't wait to hear you play. Let's start with Nathaniel Dett, and yes. then we'll go on to the arrangement of the Lord's Prayer. Can't wait to hear it. Great. <laughs>
Clipper, that was so wonderful. I, wow, I, I've never heard of Nathaniel Dett's music before. Thank you so much for bringing it to all of our attention and really to the world as well. And thank you for playing such beautiful music on two very different pianos. And I think we can all hear how these different composers' p music is really highlighted by the different characteristics that you talked about at the beginning of the episode. Wonderful. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Now, please, why don't you share with us before we close the episode, tell us all about some of the current and future projects you have coming up for yourself. My latest CD project, which I've just finished recording, uh, should be coming out in July of 2018, is Tableau, Tempest, and Tango. And it combines Mussorgsky's pictures at an exhibition with more, more recent music um, by David Finko, who is a Russian emigre composer, and by Richard Broadhead, who is composer emeritus at Temple University. Um, both of these composers have written music for me, and it ha they both have a connection with the pictures because their, their music is very much bound up by images. And of course, Finko is also a Russian composer, so there's a lot of messages about uh, Russian history and the struggle and eventual triumph of that history. And uh, the images connect with Richard Broadhead also. He wrote a, a lovely piece for me that's called uh, Tango Sonatina. And it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a whimsical tango piece, very evocative. And then he also wrote another wonderful thing for me, Sonata Noturno. It's all about the experiences and the sounds of the night. So all of these images connect music of the past with music that's being written even just last year. So these connections, these historical connections, this is something that I really enjoy, is, dry, is, is drawing those parallels. It's amazing how rich our area is with wonderful pianists like yourself, great composers. It, we, we're just, we're so fortunate to have you in the area. Thank you it's so much a, for taking the time to come and share this amazing music and amazing perspectives with us. Well, you're very welcome. And thanks so much for having me on the show. Absolutely, we're gonna have to have you back again. Oh, anytime. <laughs> I can cook up more things. Oh, absolutely, we're gonna have you back. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know when we have new episodes up and ready to view. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung, and we'll see you next time.